a best-selling author of Fat as a Family Affair and the soon-to-be-released from Bagels to Buddha, Judy Hollis. I read your seminal book, Fat is a Family Affair, and the first line is so famous now, we are as fat as we are dishonest. What did you mean by that? What I mean is that we're not living the life that our soul knows we're intended to be living here. And as long as we keep running around doing things that don't fit who we individually really are, we're going to eat to dull the pain that that brings us. And is that what they mean when they say emotional eating? Very much so. A lot of it is stress, as we've already heard from many other experts. You know, it's so funny to me that we keep addressing this as food and diet, exercise and diet. When we don't pay attention to who am I and how am I behaving in the world that's making me want to be self-punishing. It's a very difficult problem for us as Americans. We're the fattest nation in the world. Now, what about food addiction? Well, I speak a little bit to that as well because there is a, an addictive property to carbohydrates and sugars. We do go through withdrawals when we have too many of them, and we have to be careful about that. But I get a little concerned when people then make all foods bad and they're just afraid of themselves to be eaters. What this is about is paying attention to who you are and that person, you, your relationship with the substance. The substance is not the problem. It's the inner being and how we use it. That's the problem. Well, I would disagree a little bit. I think our substances are the problem in the sense of fast food. Uh, I respect you tremendously, but we're just having a dialogue. A new study says the more fast food you eat, the more likely you are to be depressed. And the more depressed you are, the more fast food you're likely to eat. It's a vicious cycle. We asked Kathy Freston about the other alternative, eating vegetables. That, plus the fiber, that's going to energize you throughout the day, and it's going to change your body from the inside out. And that includes changing the way you feel emotionally, mentally. You're going to have a clarity that you've never experienced before as you're dropping the weight. Judy, 15 seconds. I have no problem with that, but how do we keep doing the things that are recommended by all of these experts? We need help from other fellow sufferers, and we need to keep on keeping on and get back on the horse. We all know what to do. How do we do it? We need other people to help us. Dr. Judy Hollis, author of the upcoming Bagels to Buddha, you are the basically world's most famous expert on emotional eating. Tell us about how people use food to stuff their feelings. It's just like a drug, just like alcoholism. My early training was in drug addiction, and I found that what I was doing with food was exactly the same. We have to realize that the personality dynamics of all addicts apply to compulsive treatments as well. And the recovery is simple. Uh I have to say that I often, when there's something emotionally I don't want to deal with, an upset or a truth I don't want to face about myself, I will sometimes eat emotionally, eat something, and then I feel remorse. It's exactly like alcohol or drugs. And I've tried to learn to sit through the feelings and experience them.